The last couple of months, my content has been focused on the Helium Network. And during the summer, my Amazon business is slow because I sell a gift item. So since I'm still in line waiting for my first Helium hotspot, this video will be focusing on a method I use to identify negative keywords to optimize my Amazon PPC campaigns and how I format a spreadsheet to quickly upload these negative keywords to my campaigns utilizing bulk operations. Hey, this is Rochelle and welcome to Multiple Passive Streams of Income. Now, as your Amazon business grows and the amount of PPC you run grows, it becomes very time consuming to locate the negative keywords, but then to have to update each campaign and each ad group with these updates. If you know how to do spreadsheets, this tutorial is going to be easier, but even if you don't, you can follow this demonstration to get the same results. So I downloaded a search term report from advertising campaigns, and that's the tabs inside of Seller Central. Then you're going to hover your mouse on the left to see the left side menu, which is hidden. Choose reports from that left menu and then choose create report. The settings for this report are on the screen, but you will need to change the report period to reflect the dates of data you desire. So click that, choose custom and select the dates. I selected August 12th to August 19th because I optimized my PPC weekly. And the last time I ran a search term report for negative keywords was on August 12th. Click save to lock in those dates. Now, also you should name your report. This allows you to know when you ran your last report. And then now I'm going to click run report. The report will be pending at first. Click the refresh browser icon until the report status becomes completed. Then click the download icon to open the file. Now I've renamed the campaign and the ad groups for this demonstration and blacked out some sensitive information. First, what we want to do is add a filter to the spreadsheet. So we do that by clicking in the triangle at the left top of the spreadsheet. And that highlights the entire spreadsheet from the home tab in Excel, find sort and filter, and then select filter. That adds the small down arrows to each column. Now we want to go to the drop down arrow at the customer search term column, select text filters, then does not contain. We're going to enter B zero and then click OK. This removes ASINs that begin with B zero from the customer search term column because our goal is now to look at the data that customers entered into Amazon when they clicked on our sponsored ads. We want to identify keywords that customers entered that we know have a high probability of not generating a sale. Identifying negative keywords allows us to instruct Amazon to not show our products to customers that probably are not interested in buying our product. Now let's look at an example of negative keywords. Let's say our product is a yellow teapot with a wooden handle. And our search term report reveals the following customer search terms. I've highlighted the negative keywords in red. We want to add these negative keywords to our PPC campaigns because it's a high probability if a customer types the highlighted words in red into Amazon, they probably aren't looking to buy our product. And we do not want to spend money for clicks if that's the case. Make sure you understand negative keywords and match types. The search term teapot with metal handle is a good example. We want to negative metal handle and not just the word metal because a customer could be looking to buy a yellow metal teapot. We only want to exempt ourselves 
from customers specifically looking for a teapot with a metal handle because ours has a wooden handle. So I'm gonna look at the customer search term column, identify keywords that I want in negative. I'm gonna jot those negative keywords on a sheet inside this spreadsheet. So if you wanna add a sheet, you just click the plus button on the bottom tab. That will open a new sheet and then you can right click the new sheet tab and rename it negatives. So after analyzing the customer search term column, here's the negative keywords I identified. Some are exact match types and some are phrase match types. The phrase match types are blacked out. They're, they would tell too much about my product, so I'm sorry, but had to, had to black those out. Since we will be utilizing bulk operations to upload these negative keywords to our campaigns and ad groups, we're gonna need to do some formatting of the data to get it ready. So first, we need to determine all the campaign and ad group names. We will need to create a new sheet. So again, click the plus sign on the bottom menu then right click to rename the sheet. I'm gonna rename it campaign ad group names. Okay, now I'm gonna copy all the results in the campaign and ad group name columns onto this new sheet. I'm gonna highlight both columns of data and from the data tab inside Excel, I'm gonna select remove duplicates. Now both columns are checked. I'll then click okay. In our example, there are 20 unique campaign and ad group combinations. Click OK. Now, I want to determine how many keywords I want to exact negative and how many I want to phrase negative. You can count them manually or use a filter. If you want to add a filter, insert a row above the data. So in this case, I'm gonna highlight row number one by clicking the number one on the left side. And then from the home tab, I'll click insert to insert a row. Now I'm gonna put names on the top of the columns and from the home tab, I'll find sort and filter. With the column headers highlighted, tap filter, and the drop down arrows will be added to the column headers. Now I can filter my match type to determine how many exact negative and how many phrase negative. Okay, so now in this example, I've identified 13 exact negative and 17 phrase negative. Next, we need to populate a spreadsheet supplied to us by Amazon which you can download from bulk operations, which is located again from the advertising tab, the campaign tab, and then the bulk operations from the hidden left menu. Click download a bulk operations template. We're gonna use the sponsored products campaigns sheet when we download this spreadsheet. And on the screen, I have arrows pointing to the columns that we're gonna populate. And here's another look at the columns and the format of the data that we're gonna enter into these columns. So first, we're gonna copy the campaign names from the worksheet and add them to the campaign name column on the negative masters template. We'll do the same for the ad group names. Now we know we have 13 exact and 17 phrase negatives. And we want to add each of these to the 20 ad group combos. So 13 and 17 equals 30. So we have actually 30 negative keywords and we want to duplicate them 20 times. So 30 times 20 is 600. So we're going to need to duplicate those campaign and ad group names to create 30 sets of those 20 combinations. So to do this, I'm gonna highlight the data in the campaign column. I'm gonna drag at the bottom right hand 
corner at the bottom of the data, when I drag it down, it's going to duplicate the set of campaign and ad group combos. And I'm going to do it to the row 601, right? Because I need 600 um, of these rows. And we started at row two, so that's why I'm going to row 601. Now I'm going to do the same thing for the ad group columns. Um, I also highlighted the first row of each column so you can see the start of each uh, data set um, that was duplicated. Now we need to duplicate each negative keyword 20 times to match the number of campaign ad group combos. So I'm going to add each negative keyword to each campaign ad group combo. So to do this, I'm going to create a new sheet in our worksheet spreadsheet. I'm going to rename it negative duplicates. Now I'm going to copy and paste the negative keywords to that sheet. I'm going to highlight the data and drag the right bottom set of the data to duplicate 20 sets of the 30 negative keywords. I'm going to insert a row at the top of the data and name it negatives and then add a filter and then sort A to Z. This will alphabeticalize the 30 negative keywords into 20 sets. I'm going to paste that data to the negative master. Now we need to populate the match type column and you're going to be putting in negative exact or negative phrase, depending on, you know, your list of negative keywords. Since we are not negativing any ASINs, we won't be using negative targeting expression as a match type. And we will not need to use the negative product targeting column. So I'm going to delete that ASIN equals format from that column. But this shows you the format you need for ASINs if you ever decide to use this template to negative any ASINs in your PPC campaigns. We also have to populate the status column to show enable for all our rows of data. Okay, now we're finished formatting. We're going to save our negative template. Now, to add all these negative keywords to our campaigns and ad groups, we got to go back to bulk operations. And then we got to go to step three and click choose file and upload the save file and then click OK. Now, it may take a couple minutes to process. Again, you can click your refresh browser button. When it finishes, it will verify all the rows that were processed. And if any errors occurred, you can download the report below and look at the errors. This tutorial may seem difficult, but it's not that hard once you understand what you're trying to accomplish when you're formatting the data. And if you do it a few times, it becomes a lot easier. So lastly, when I returned from Aruba last week from my power tripping vacation with my lifelong friends and sisters, I actually got sick when I got back to the U.S. a few days later and I had to get tested for COVID and thank God my COVID test was negative. So it turns out it was an allergy cold situation. So I thank God for that. I had already designed the August t-shirt for the August t-shirt giveaway before I got sick, but it just emphasizes that health is wealth. So please leave a comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell to enter the August free t-shirt giveaway. I'll announce a winner on my first September video. The contest rules are on the screen. I would appreciate it if you like or dislike this video. All interaction counts. And as always, thanks for your time as I know you could be any other place right now. Take care.